Hello and welcome to Getting APIs to Work. In today's episode, we'll talk about GraphQL versus REST. It's a question that still gets discussed a fair bit. It's a question that people are facing when they wonder, how should I design APIs? And it's something that I want to talk about a little bit to give you my opinion when to choose what and why there actually are some good reasons to choose one over the other, depending on what you're doing. So when people say GraphQL versus REST, what they mean is GraphQL as the query-based language that is a given technology and REST usually is used as a shorthand for a resource-oriented HTTP-based API. So in the end, what we have here is we're comparing two styles. So if you recall my video about API styles, there were five major styles that you can distinguish. And one of them is resource oriented and another one of them is query oriented. So GraphQL versus REST has two of those as the two things that you compare. Just as a brief history of GraphQL, where it comes from, it, it was developed by Facebook. They started developing it in 2012 as their internal API. It was released in 2015. So they started talking about it, releasing software and so forth. And in 2018, it was moved to the GraphQL Foundation. So now it's more of an open source project, so to speak. And there's a lot of software around it. And there's also a lot of buzz. There's a whole conference around GraphQL. So in many cases, really the question is, which one should I choose? And like I said in the styles video, there is no best API style. And therefore also, it doesn't make a lot of sense to say, is GraphQL better than REST or worse? And what I wanna talk about is a little bit of the scenarios that you have to look at. And one of the things that I find really interesting is that even Facebook, who invented GraphQL, even they use GraphQL only for their internal APIs. So how their internal applications talk to Facebook itself. So the, the, the iPhone, the iOS app talks to Facebook, how the Android app talks to Facebook, how the web app talks to Facebook. So it's all between different pieces of software all owned by Facebook. When it comes to partner or public APIs, also Facebook has not GraphQL. They use REST-based HTTP APIs. So even with Facebook, who invented GraphQL, you see that they use different styles for different purposes. And I think that's a very good indication of what's going on here. And it's really, in the end, it's all a question of design. If you look at an API, when you come back to, you may remember my API product video, when it was all about what's an API really all about. And an API is nothing but the delivery mechanism, right? I made this comparison with beer saying that the API is the question, do I put my beer in a bottle or do I put my beer in a can? That's what the API is, the delivery mechanism. What's more important actually is the value itself, the beer. So the same thing you can think about when you talk GraphQL versus REST. So first and foremost, what's the product? What's the value that you want to expose and who are you exposing it to? And if you think about that, then I think you have a much better starting point to think about which one to choose over when you just think about the technologies and do I prefer this technology over that technology. And coming back to that example from the APIs that Facebook itself is using, we already see that in one scenario where it's relatively tightly coupled. So Facebook owns their own API and their own applications that deliver the Facebook experience. And in that case, they decided GraphQL is a good choice. They developed GraphQL for that. So that's a relatively tightly coupled scenario where both the consumers and the producers of the API are owned by the same organization. If you look at more loosely coupled scenarios, then again, going back to the Facebook example, even Facebook chooses to have an API that is not GraphQL. So the Graph API that is the, the public API that you can access for Facebook is not GraphQL. 
it's HTTP based. And that gives you a good indication that because it's a different scenario, a different design may be in order. And I think that really is the most important takeaway here to think about GraphQL and REST as two design options that you have. And the most important thing is really to think about what am I designing for? So who are, what is my capability that I'm designing? Who are my consumers that I'm designing for? And also maybe who are my producers? So if I have a team that for example is very good at GraphQL and they release GraphQL APIs all the time, maybe that's a good indication that yes, a new API maybe should be in GraphQL as well. If on the other hand, I've never used GraphQL before and everything seems to be working fine with HTTP APIs, then maybe continue using HTTP API. So that's another thing I think to keep in mind here is that you shouldn't treat each API as a single precious snowflake that is a design exercise from the ground up. You should also always look at the API landscape that you're designing for. So looking at all the APIs that your organization has and thinking about does it fit into this landscape? Will people find familiarities that they find easy to work with? Will they be able to reuse tooling that they're used to work with? Will they be able to understand things? Because that's how my APIs usually work. So in the end, really my opinion when you talk about GraphQL versus REST is not so much to decide which one is better. It's really more a question to decide what's the scenario like. And then again, I lean at GraphQL maybe as a good choice for private APIs and REST probably as a good choice when it comes more to partner and public APIs. But again, even then you might make different choices, but just be aware that it's a choice to make. It's not a question of which one is better. Think about the scenario that you have, think about the context of your design, and then you might be able to make a good decision. So in the end, we come to the same conclusion as in the API styles video, where I said there is no single best style. And I, I again want to quote this idea of if all you have is a hammer, every problem looks like a nail. And the same applies to GraphQL versus REST, right? Don't use GraphQL as your hammer. Don't use REST as your hammer. Be aware of the different options out there make an informed choice, and then you're very likely to design an API that is actually good to use and that will be a good product that you're releasing. That's it for today. Thanks for listening. If you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you would like to know more about GraphQL or REST. I'm always looking for suggestions what people are looking for. And that's it for now. Have a great day and see you soon. Bye.